All right, today we're going to learn about a, a new uh, variable type in Java. It's called array list. Here's the deal. Arrays are useful, particularly if uh, you know how many of something you're going to have. Like you have 100 test scores and you want to access them all using a single variable. That's, that's perfect for an array, an array of scores. The trick with arrays is you can't make them bigger or smaller, right? You can't just say, well, I want to have 101 scores. Or I don't want to have 100 scores, I just want to have 70 scores. Well, an array list is like a fancy array in a way. You can add to it as much as you want. You can remove things from it. Um, uh, you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, and uh, I mean, it's got other flexibilities. So um, there's methods that we can do. Um, uh, an array list uh, starts off empty. Array lists start off empty, then you add items to it using the add method um, to use an array list. You must include this line import dot import java dot util dot array list, and then I'll show you. We'll go over and code one in. Sorry, Alicia. So sometimes you're like coding and then you try to compile and it's telling you it doesn't know what this array list thing is and it just usually means you didn't put the import line at the top. And you can see it over here. So uh, import java.util.arraylist at the top. And then here, this, folks, is how you make a string array list. So you might want to write this down. What's, what's different about array list is you have to say what kind of object is going in there. And in fact, array lists, I'll write this down in the other window, but array lists can only hold object data. They don't hold primitive data. So you don't have an array list of integers. Exactly. I'll, I'll explain a slight twist on that later. But um, so you have to say what kind of thing is going to be in there. So you say array list, and then this is like the less than symbol, and then the type of variable that you're putting in, and then a greater than symbol, and then the variable name equals new, and then array list. You repeat that stuff. It's a little tedious the way they make you do it, but. You get used to it. So I'm going to add uh, a name here, and I'm going to print it. One thing that's nice about array lists is they actually print. You know, like regular arrays, you have to do a for loop to print them. You can print an array list of strings anyway, and it just prints them out. Um, we often use for loops to print them, but for basic operations, it's nice that it doesn't just print the memory location. That's because it has a two-string method built in that just dumps it out like this. Um, if you want to do uh, add another one, uh, my best friend Frankie, uh, they're both in there now. And array lists have a length, right? They're length zero when they're or in fact, they don't have a length, they have a size. But there is zero when there's nothing in it. And then um, to find out how big one is, you do the dot size method. And that'll tell us the number two. And the length goes from item zero to one less than the size, just like an array or a string. And yes, you have now learned all the ways we're going to, have to talk about length of things. There's for strings, it's dot length with the with the parentheses because it's a method. For arrays, it's just dot length without parentheses because it's a property of the array. And for array lists, it's dot size with parentheses because it's a method. I mean, I I would have done it differently, but um, they didn't ask me. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, it's just a little funky. But, you know, you get used to it. It's not a big deal. The compiler won't, won't let you do it wrong, so if you type it in wrong, it'll say you're doing it wrong. Um, so now to get individual items, I told you they're addressable by index number, just like an array or characters in a string, but we use the get method. So um, we'll do system.out.println uh, names dot get zero that gets the first item and if we did uh, uh, names dot get names dot size minus one we'd get the last item I mean in this case that's the only two that are in there but um first item Last item. And you can do a regular for loop with these things. For int i equals zero, i less than names dot size, i plus plus. So you want to be able to do that. But remember, we're using the get command. And I just put them on one line just for kicks. That's not part of the requirement. But you do have to remember array lists use the get command to get access to these things. Uh, you also can do a for, an enhanced for loop or a for each loop. So you'd say for string t names and then system.out.println. I'm going to take off the space from the previous one. So if you're just going to try to print or see what's going on, like access and read items in an array list, the, the for each loop works great. I mean, it's simpler. If you, if you have to know what the index value is of a particular item, then you have to use a regular for loop. Um, so there's a bunch of different methods. Uh, we have to know about six, but we're not going to go in depth in them today. Uh, for today, we're going to do, uh, we just have our day 53 program, which I'll post uh, right now. And I felt like there was one other thing I meant, I wished I'd written down over here. Can't remember.